What are they doing that, that's putting your mom in danger other than being gay? Out here tricking and drinking and cussing and drugs and going on. Only the gays are doing that. I, I, how many times do you want me to see it? People aren't born hating gay people. They are taught to hate gay people. And who's doing the teaching? It's coming from pulpits right here in Broward County yeah. every Sunday. Yeah, tell him. It's coming from our politicians in Tallahassee who won't pass an anti-bullying law. Say it, Matt. They'll yeah, come from our president who talks down about us wherever he goes. This has to end, but it has to end from all those levels. The, the murder of Simi, what happened downtown to Mitchell and Melbourne, those are not isolated incidents. They're all part of this web of discrimination and hate and violence. And all of us together have to speak out and stand up against it. As a member of Broward County, I am embarrassed that this crime happened in my hometown, the town I choose to raise my children in, and a town where I would hope we wouldn't have these kind of problems as diverse as we are. For seven years, the Florida legislature has failed to pass a statewide ban on school bullying for one shameful reason. Lawmakers have not wanted to include protections for lesbian, gay, and transgender students. Students like Simi. There are bills right now that are filed that can fix this problem and bring about equality to all the people in this state. So again, I call on the, my fellow 119 other legislators, my 40 other state senators that I work with and will be working with for the next 60 days. We have 60 days. We can do this. There is no reason to back down from this. As we prepare for another funeral, it is not an exaggeration to say that lives hang in the balance. This crime proves that we cannot afford to leave another student like Simi behind.